nice break from the rains that we've been getting oh last number of days. Oh my goodness, yes, it's beautiful today. We've had about, what, a whole full week of heavy rain. But you nothing know? to complain about, girl, because <laughs> before that we've had true. unseasonably balmy weather before. True, true, true. But because of all that rain, there was there has been a lot of flooding in the city, which is great for our plumber friends. <laughs> <laughs> Standing up guys, those structures, those statues kind of weird me out, dude. I know. You're creeped out by the headless. Guys, that that swimming pool is like has got a clear portion in it. So you can see people swimming in there like they're in a fishbowl. <laughs> quite hilarious <laughs> but it makes everyone look really uh, anatomically incorrect <laughs> oh, where are we going <laughs> did we have anything to return I hope not all right so parked in what seems to be a prime spot on its own Archie on his own but guess what my theory is that they're gonna be it's going to be carts parked over here and over here by the time we get back. Even though there's a cart return right there. It's going to happen, girl. And even if there aren't any carts there, you're just going to put them there just to prove a point. <laughs> hey, that would be disingenuous and just oh, straight stop. up. Big, whoa, girl. You got to watch out there. See, she was driving through. She wasn't even parking. Right, she wasn't paying attention. Okay, I think we're gonna make it to the entrance without getting run over. <laughs> almost there. <laughs> almost there. <laughs> it's almost noon, which means lunchtime. Means so we're gonna hit up uh, hot dog time. The mini taste Costco edition. These are some of my favorite fries because I believe that they're lightly battered and it gives it that extra crisp. So full likes to rock them with gravy. So I'm gonna dig into the gravy a little bit without burning my tongue. <laughs> yeah, so. You know that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen. Mm. Like all fries, consume when fresh out of the fryer or as close as possible. It's got that light crunch on the outside and it's nice and tender on the inside. Too bad you can't hear it, but there's a crunch. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. So, my condolences to oh, our American God. friends. But these fries are pretty dope. There are a lot of TVs in here. There sure are. All right, Costco today. Uh, not for our usual Costco haul, but uh, lately we have been thinking about the homelessness that is occurring in our city. There is a housing crisis and a drug crisis, as I'm sure is similar in a lot of large cities. But we've been uh, just impacted by how many people are homeless in our city and we wanted to do something. So we can either choose to do nothing or do something. And so we're here at Costco today to put together some items in a care package that we hope will fulfill the need. We, we don't know what it's like to be homeless and um, we hope that this will just help a little bit. I'm thinking about these uh, thermal socks. Would keep them warm, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe a few, a few packages of these? Yeah. Maybe some toothbrushes? Yep. And some toothpaste? Mm -hmm. Mm 
I have a box of these at home. We should put some of those in there too. Oh, but there's, pe oh no, most people are not allergic to peanuts, are they? Just children. Children today are allergic to peanuts. These look good. Oh, wait. So we're just paying for a bill and uh, the cashier recognized. All right, Danny. Nice to meet oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guy. Thank you. All right. Another visit to Costco. Yep. So what, how much did we spend this time? Oh, okay, we also got groceries, not just the things that we were getting for our care packages. Yeah. And still less than $300. And that's not the bad. usual trip for us not anyways. Bad. Yeah. No barbecues or couches or uh, TVs. mattresses, TV, TVs. Next time, next time. Next time. <laughs> How much money you want to bet that there's carts beside Archie? Oh, this side is clear. No way. I can't believe it. <laughs> I think they just came by and cleared out all the carts. <laughs> hey, it's like four of us instead of just <laughs> Flo and myself. Yep, so Flo, Mini Flo, and Dude, and Mini Dude. <laughs> well, we got back from Costco and we thought it would be a great opportunity to do this project as a family. One of the values that we want to instill in the children is to be generous with what you have. No matter how much or how little, uh, I think we are called to be good stewards of the things that have been given to us and for us to be a blessing to others. And it's something that we want to be mindful about is sometimes you feel analysis paralysis and you don't know what to do, but really it's better to do something, anything, than nothing at all. So our hope is that we've gathered all these things and that people would find them useful. We have no idea what the um, we have no idea what the homeless need, but we hope that this will just help a little bit. So we thought we would get them some warm socks to keep them warm, and a bottle of water, some food to eat. We have some granola bars, something sweet. We have these uh, jujube nougats from our friends at Golden Bonbon. And we thought maybe a toothbrush and some toothpaste would be helpful. And we also have these hand warmers that keep your hand warm for up to 12 hours. So they're eight um, hours. Yeah, they're chemically activated and then they can put them in there gloves, mitts, or wherever. Yeah, so we'll put a few packages of these in there. Yeah, and we don't know where this is going to go, uh, whether it's going to be even seen as, as helpful, but if, if it is, we'll just keep on adapting it, and uh, we're just going to go for it. Mm -hmm. We often um, come across people asking for money, uh, whether we're stopped at a stoplight or just walking down the street, and hopefully if we have one of these packages just in our bags, uh, we can just hand it off as something instead of cash. All right, let's do this. All right. What do you guys think? <laughs> uh, right, so we have uh, large freezer bags. And we're going to put the items, hopefully it'll fit. Yeah. And since the toothbrushes came bulk, yep. they don't have individually wrapped toothbrushes. We're going to put the toothbrushes in a smaller sandwich bag. In a sandwich bag. Hopefully that'll fit as well. I think a diagonally, yeah. 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 Let's see Perfect how Nella. perfectly <laughs> planned this <Yeah>. is. <laughs> All right. All right, let's go. Well, that didn't take too long. The kids put together these four packages and we will uh, make more with the rest of the items that we have but these one gallon resealable freezer bags uh, fit everything very nicely in them 
And we also wanted to use these resealable bags because we thought, well, maybe they would find these useful as well. Especially in the, the wet climate that we live in. Yeah, maybe they need to keep some things dry. So hopefully someone will find uh, that this meets some of their needs. Yeah, and as a family, we're going to keep pushing in the direction of thinking about ideas to use what we've been given for others. Mm -hmm. So, thanks for watching. Till next time, be simple, ordinary, and joyful. Thanks, guys. <laughs>